Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'll tell you what, we covered it all in here. There's no doubt about that. Uh, it's been levelled at me that all I look to is old Damon Holmes, Philip Schofield, Ollie Willabubbly, and Alison Hammond. It's wrong, I don't. Though there has been a lot of those on the uh, channel over the last couple of weeks, but what can you do? It's the biggest news story at the moment. It's not going away. We're going to cover an affair in a minute, something I read about that I just thought I'd share with you. But today, I mean, what we're doing, we, we, I don't know when you're going to see these, when they're going to come out, but we're, we're covering a nun who's been found after four years dead, not decomposed whatsoever. We're doing something about Everton FC. What else are we doing? We're doing something about Eamon and... Ooh, what's her name? I can't remember her name. She, was, she did the stuff on Carol Vorderman. How could I not remember her name? We're doing something on the actor Hugo Spear, and we're doing something on Sheila Hancock. Wide range of subjects there. All pretty short videos. This one will be a little longer, but only a little. Reading something at the weekend, viewers. I don't tend to read these magazines and whatever else, but I was reading a magazine in one of the newspapers, and me, me um, I line was struck about something about an older lady having an affair. Uh, and I read it, and I felt really, really sorry for her. Um, and I'll quickly share it with you, and I don't, I don't know what your thoughts will be, but... Just thought of shit. A lady there, she said, she was having a 10-year affair with a guy up till 10 years ago. She broke it off 10 years ago. She's recently found out that he's died. Now, this lady's husband died five years ago. She stayed with her husband, but at the time she was been with her husband, she was having a 10-year affair, which she broke off 10 years ago. She's recently been told, or found out, that the guy she had the affair, who she, who she loved deeply and he loved her, has died. And she wants to go to the funeral, but knows really she can't and doesn't know how she can do it. Because obviously nobody knows about her. His wife didn't know. Nobody knows. And she's worried people are going to say, well, who are you? How did you know him? But she feels she loved him that deeply and he's been the love of her life. She should go. She just doesn't know what to do. Anyway, she's wrote him for some advice. And I'll give you the advice. At the end, I thought it was pretty good, to be honest with you. But she's saying she, she met this guy. And the reason she's had the affair is she said... She'd been in a marriage with her husband like all her, all, all her adult life. He did have some mental health issues and they were really trying. It was really, really bad. She didn't love him as much as she should and it was hard to stay in the marriage, but she never, ever wanted to leave him because she knew deep down he was a good man and she had children with him and loved the children and they all needed her. The guy that she had the affair with was also married but was born of the, the, the faith that once you marry somebody, you stay with them. He didn't love his wife but always said he would never leave her, which suited this lady because she didn't want to leave her husband. She said, but 10 years ago, he got his first grandchildren through the guy she was having an affair with and it became harder to see him because he had to prioritise some time for his grandchildren. And she thought, well, it's not working and it's not right. I don't want him to choose between me and his grandchildren. His family has to come first. And he was very close to his sons and daughters and obviously the grandchildren were coming to the world. So she said, I sacrificed our affair for them because it was only right. And she said, but I'm really torn. She said, I've got one friend that knows about the affair, which to my mind is always the way of the world. Anything happens affair-wise or anything like with a woman, they've always got one best friend that they share everything with, one confidant. A bloke having an affair tends to tell all and sundry. Not all do, but I've known some that have gone down that path and they brag about it, which is strange. I always think it's awful for the person that's been adding, having an affair on that they don't know that everybody's talking behind the back. But anyway, that's a totally different story. But this woman didn't know what to do. And the writer said, look, you could go, but it could be really bad. You know, it could be really bad. You could get asked things, what you're going to say. If they do find out that you're like the other woman, it's going to really upset everybody. It's unfair. She said, I appreciate you wanting to be there, but you've just got to realise it's something you can't do. She said, what I would do is go into the countryside for a day or to the beach for a day. somewhere absolutely love him, uh, lovely, where you know it's the same time as the funeral and think about him in lovely surroundings. You know, have two or three hours on your own with nobody else and just think all good thoughts and thoughts for the 10 years that you've had together. And I thought that was good advice. And why on earth I brought this up in here, I don't know. I'll probably have four or five people living in droves thinking, I had one leave the other week. I'm not staying with this channel. All you do is talk rubbish. Well, maybe that's a bit more rubbish, ladies and gents, but I thought I'd share it.